This boring gray building, it's a data center. It's what lets you scroll TikTok, binge watch Netflix, and send that email to your boss. But here's what you don't see. There are thousands of these across the country. Nearly 200 are spread across Loudoun County, Virginia, sitting right next to quiet suburban homes, and they're taking up hundreds of acres. What you're looking at here is known as Data Center Alley. And even with thousands of data centers all over the US, we may need more of them. Before we dive into this huge yet mostly invisible problem, let's start with the basics. What is a data center and how does it work? Well, data centers are usually massive buildings. They house IT infrastructure that runs applications, stores data, connects you to the web and to the cloud. It's already up in the cloud. What cloud? What cloud? Most of what we do touches a data center, sending that email to your boss, binging Apple TV, or transferring money to a friend. Data centers operate through this intricate network of data drives, wires, servers, and cables, all working together to process and direct digital information in milliseconds. Back in the early days of the internet, companies often kept these systems in-house in small server rooms. But today, most of that computing power has been centralized into large data centers, often owned by tech giants or service providers providers like AWS, Microsoft, Google, or Meta. They might use the facilities themselves, or more commonly, rent out capacity to other smaller companies. Since data centers are engineered to run 24-7, they can run hot quickly, which can damage equipment. So data centers also build a network of cooling systems with fans, AC, and liquid cooling. This whole complex system of networks uses massive amounts of electricity and water, but it's not just electricity and water. Data centers also take up a lot of space. Take a look at this map. In Loudoun County alone, around 200 data centers that processed 70% of web traffic in 2021 already covered 987 acres, and more than a thousand additional acres are under review for future development. Why so much room? That intricate system of network and cooling in data centers requires a lot of space. On top of that, they need space for staff, security, and parking. And data centers can't be built just anywhere. To keep that Netflix stream smooth and steady, they need to be close to fiber optic networks. Even a small increase in distance can cause notable slowdowns in internet speed. They also need to be near reliable power sources. Since these facilities run 24 seven, any power problems could lead to outages. Plus, they can't be in areas where natural disasters like floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, or hurricanes are common. But perhaps the most important factor in deciding where to build a data center is tax incentives. In Virginia, data centers are exempt from paying sales or use tax on building materials, machinery, or equipment, making it cheaper to build and maintain these centers. And these tax exemptions, they aren't cheap. The state gave up $65 million in 2017, $136 million in 2022, and $750 million in 2023. The current tax program runs through 2035, giving these companies long-term certainty. They also benefit the economy, contributing 50% of Loudoun's property tax revenue. And for every $1 in services Loudoun County provides to data centers, they receive $26 in revenue. But the downside is that on average in Virginia, the state generated only 48 cents in new revenue for every dollar it did not collect in sales tax between 2014 and 2023. They may offer a slight financial edge for now, but all that energy used by those servers that take up nearly a thousand acres in Loudoun brings up costs for everyone in the area. Running the center already uses loads of electricity, but with the rise of AI, significantly more will be consumed by these centers. The average daily energy use of ChatGPT queries is estimated to be 268 times higher than Google searches. And these systems are only getting more complex, whether that be in-depth queries, image editing, or video generation. Training these models is expensive as well. OpenAI's ChatGPT4 is estimated to have taken over $100 million and 50 gigawatt hours of energy, enough to power San Francisco for three entire days. This surge in energy usage on an outdated American electricity grid causes energy prices to rise precipitously. The average household's annual electricity bill could increase by about $219 in 2025 compared to 2022. And according to a report from the Virginia legislature, average residential ratepayers in the state might be paying an additional $37.50 every month in data center energy costs. 
Over the past decade alone, data center load growth is estimated to have tripled, and it's projected to double or triple again by 2028, which will increase our electricity costs even more. So why do we need more of them? The truth is, AI is on the rise. OpenAI's ChatGPT is estimated to be the fifth most visited website in the world, behind Google, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And it was only released in 2022. Since then, we've seen AI pop up on every platform, from social media to email platforms, video calls, text messaging, and more. AI is becoming more personalized, complex, and commonplace. Unless we're willing to give up our digital lives, data centers are a necessary part of our future. But we can and should push for better data centers by building more renewable energy, strengthening our electricity grid, conserving water, building vertical data centers, more transparency with communities, shifting tax breaks toward energy and water efficient systems, and so much more because data centers are coming, and the cost of faster internet and more TV shows to binge watch might mean a big, boring, gray building right in your neighborhood. All right, everyone, that's it for our video on data centers. Would you be willing to have a data center built in your neighborhood if it meant faster and more reliable service? Let us know that and your other thoughts in the comment section. Also, please hit the like button, click subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this video with friends and family. And if you want to support our work, you can head over to readtangle.com and sign up for a newsletter membership, podcast membership, or a bundled membership that gets you a discount on both. Until next time, peace.